Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Andy the Player, because I'm a player baby. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what you can do with the internet in VR. Now, I did a very similar video to this about 11 months ago uh, today. I looked at my YouTube channel. Yeah, just under a year ago, I did how to browse the internet in VR. Got something like 20,000 views. I'm not really too sure why it's gotten that, that many views. And it's very easy to just put the headset on and you've got the internet right in front of you. But people watched it, so I'm here to do it again. However, the difference with this video is that since then, since nearly a year ago, there's been obviously a few updates that the, um, the Quest platform has brought out. What you can do now is pretty much the same but you can have multiple screens out in front of you so it's kind of like a minority report you know tom cruise when he's got lots of different windows in front of him and you're moving things around you couldn't do that back then you could only just have one web page out in front of you and that and that was it so now you can have um, i think up to three so i'm just gonna do exactly what i did last time and just show you the same thing how to find the internet and how to have multiple um, pages going at the same time there was a comment that someone put on the on that video saying like how i don't understand where do you go to find the internet where do, where do you go and i think i said something like if you can't find it then you shouldn't be breathing like it's it's so it, you literally look in front of you and it says browser it says internet it's, it's there and then someone commented back saying you don't deserve to be on youtube if that's the kind of comment that you give people like i'm sorry but if you're that stupid that you can't find the internet what are you doing breathe what how how do you exist anyway <laughs> let's see what comments i get on this video so yeah i'm going to be using the oculus quest one yeah let's show you how to find the internet and what you can do with the internet let's go okay so here we are at my main home screen you got your little sub menu box at the bottom there and then you've got your main box up here where you can go to um, different categories they changed the the sub menu at the bottom here the browser actually has actually gone from the bottom menu so where you have to go now is you have to click this one here which is kind of like a little grid uh, icon um, it's kind of like your app library this is all the kind of games and experiences i've got this is what it used to be like the the sub menu so it's now it's originated to here for some reason so obviously we've got home um, home used to be here store used to be here browse used to be here and so on so on so now it's here so yeah you just click onto that one you bring up to here and then there is browser so now when we click onto browser so here we are we are on the internet uh, we've got your main web page in front of you this is what the kind of oculus uh, kind of dashboard site will look like you can now we've got a little plus section up here so this is where if you want to have multiple screens so if you click that once now that one has moved over to there and now we've got another web page open and if you want us to have more than one more than two you can just click the plus again now it's gone over there now we've got three so now the plus is gone so we can only have three open at any one time and obviously these all work independently uh, from one another so the same exact uh, situation if you had if you if I was in my real space here if I had three monitors in front of me and I could move freely between them all you can do exactly the same thing from here so say for instance uh, this one I want to load up my Instagram uh, yeah that is me yeah except whatever oh, oh I can't be bothered to, oh, have I got to go into me ah. ah right we got there in the end uh, after logging in so yeah we've got my Instagram up here oh look at my sexy pictures yeah, so there's my Instagram. You can go ahead and follow me if you want. Um, <laughs> there you go, that's my Instagram on there. And now, oh, but you know, I wanna go on YouTube on this one. So let's bring up YouTube and let's just open up a random video. So now we've got a random video going. I can hear the sound. I'm not too sure if you can hear the sound uh, whilst I'm recording. Um, it might be it might be silent. Um, just in case if it's not, I'm just gonna pause the video. But um, so you can see it was playing there. I have independent controls as I'm moving between these. But now uh, for this one, I wanna I wanna load up Sky Sports. I've got a football match going on. I wanna keep updated with the scores. I, I don't watch football, so I'm not really bothered. But you see what I, what I mean? Yeah, I wanna I wanna watch. Well, yeah, ref watch inevitable Cav Cavani. Goal would be disallowed. Yeah, let's watch this. So there we go. Right, it's got an ad, but it's it's playing. So I've got that playing. Could I have this playing as well? Yeah, I can have that playing at the same time. And I'm also scrolling through my Instagram. 
I don't know why you would want to do three things at once, but there are some people out there who do this kind of stuff. So here it is all for you. Is my is my uh, gold thing going to come up here? Oh, I have another ad. Wicked. I love ads. I love watching them. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Pass. Oh, yeah, yes. Is this Man United? It is Man United. So there we go. So I'm watching... Okay, it's not live football. You can go onto whatever every internet page to watch live football. But there it is there for... Go! So I'm watching football, watching YouTube, Instagram at the same time. What you could also do, you can manipulate these pages. So, okay, these are quite, these are quite wide. So resize them. So if I want to make this narrow, like it's uh, kind of like your mobile phone, really. So make that a little bit smaller, a little bit more easier to um, read. Look at all those pictures. Go ahead and follow me. Mr. Andy Bradley. There we go. And uh, yeah, you can keep these ones um, bigger. If you wanted to uh, move this one over to the middle, uh, you can just hit the arrow at the top and it switches that round. Uh, if I wanted to move it over to the right hand side over there so yeah you can change these around as much as you want you can also if you don't want to use the controller so if i just uh put the controller away we've got hand uh hand recognition now so with the obviously the, ha the sensors and the cameras inside the headset i can be a little bit more minority report um, again i'm referencing that film uh, you can move around just with your hands and do anything you want so again we're pinching i can move up I can select images. I don't know why I keep going on my Instagram here, but that's really, it's really awkward me showcasing my own work. But yeah, so you can go around on that. I can move around over here. Can you do two at the same time? No, yeah, you can only just do one. Let's select another video here. Music to help you study. Oh, lovely. Just got another internet site here. Let's just, uh, the BBC site, really easy to uh, quickly type in and yes covid shoppers yeah we're, but the high streets have opened up uh, back in england today so this is all on the news but yeah i'm literally controlling the internet just with my fingertips and yeah no controllers and i have three screens so this is pretty much uh, pretty much it this is how you browse the internet in vr who knows what's going to happen in a few updates time um, you know how different it's going to be to to now i mean if you're wondering let me just get my controller back out again what else you can do i've literally said it in the in my previous video you know these kind of icons up here so we can um make it go back to normal uh, we can also uh, zoom in if we wanted to, or you can zoom out. Some internet sites, you need to request a de desktop site or a mobile site. That was a desktop site I was viewing, but now I'm viewing it on a mobile site, which is obviously exactly this. It's optimized for both, so it's the same thing. But uh, that's what that icon is there. You can bookmark pages and you can also, you've got a menu category, lots of different things. Go into private mode or incognito mode. Um, this is where all your saved bookmarks are. If you've, if you've downloaded anything from the internet, pictures, videos, or any kind of PDFs, documents, it's all gonna come into here. And clearing browsing data. For all the naughty people out there, that is where you go for that. And you know what these are, previous page, reload, and then that's just viewing the site information. And yeah, you can have multiple tabs open. Oops, pushed the wrong one. There we go, multiple tabs, and I can have multiple tabs on this one as well. I'm not too sure what the limit is, but you know, you've got three different windows open here. Yeah, there's a lot of tabs. Let's just, I don't know, let's just fill it up. It's quite a lot on that one. Quite a lot on that one. Quite a lot on that one. There we go. What's that like? 5, 10, 15, 2, 4, 6, 12, 18 tabs at least at the moment. And if you wanted to close tabs, very easy. Just go back up to the middle again uh, and then just hit the X button. Hit the X button and then we just go back to one again. I have actually also seen just another feature here. If you're using your hands and you just want to uh, minimize the, uh, the, the page, you, if you move over to the right hand side, you've got a white bar. We just tap onto that. There we go. So we can move it independently wider oh how wide can we how wide can we go how low can you go so that's the mobile version and if we tap on it again widen it all out wow that's really wide i haven't i haven't seen it that wide before so that's really good for um you know watching watching movies you could just sit back and you've got yeah that's a really wide angle there yeah that's really nice so yeah that is pretty much it that is the internet in vr anyway let's have a little chat Ooh. 
That is how to browse the internet in VR. Hopefully you can find it. It's very easy to find it. But no, it's really cool that you can, yeah, use multiple screens at the same time and also use your hands if you're just even more lazy that you don't want to use controllers. But again, I don't, I can't really see why you'd want to use the feature. I mean, when I'm browsing on my computer or my phone, I only have one internet page at the same time. That feature doesn't really apply to me. I've, I've never really used it. But it's good, to, okay, if you're watching a football match and you maybe, I don't know, you're writing about it or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the feature is there if you would like to use it. This update, this, this is, uh, I'm on version I think 25, 26 now, that's the latest update. You should have this now. This 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 update has been out for quite a few months. I think this uh, particular update came out. So everyone should have this on the Quest 1 or Quest 2. If you don't have it yet, then yeah, definitely, definitely just check again. Check your your uh, software update um, settings because yeah, this, this, this update came out quite a while ago. So you should definitely have it. But anyway, this has been a brief little video on how to browse the internet in VR. Hopefully you, you have, hopefully you have found it uh, intuitive and uh, very easy to understand. I'm not really quite sure how else to explain it anymore. Um, yeah, so it should be pretty easy. <laughs> if you are stuck, still uh then please just let us know down below and i'll probably give you a witty comment or, or so but anyway thanks for watching i've been andy the player and i'll see you soon all right guys see you later bye